Hello there friends and welcome back for another mod review. Today we're going to be taking a look at a mod I've reviewed in the past but this is like six versions later and they added many more products to it so I thought it would be worthwhile to take a second look at this mod. This is the Flegel PFS 16000 pallet filling station plus pallet sale station version 1.0.0.7. That's a mouthful. The file size is 40 megabytes and what we're going to do guys is we're going to take a little walk around take a look at this i'm going to explain to you how it works we're going to go over the shop and check out some of the specs and then i'm going to test them out or test it out to show you exactly how it works and that it works properly now i got everything set up over here it took me about an hour and a half to set all this up guys so it did yeah it did take a while but i have a bunch of different products here this thing is capable of bagging making pallets of or making uh, bales of 16 or 15 different products and I have most of them here I'm not going to be testing out every one of them but I'm going to be testing out quite a few of them we have some wood chips some sugar beets some soybean some compost some uh, silage some chaff some uh, straw and some manure so quite a bit and we have some biodiesel and some milk as well so there's only a couple that I missed here now I will go through some of the things that this does make it makes big bags from fertilizer seed and pig food it makes bales from grass straw silage and hay and it'll also make pallets from milk wood chips potato sugar beets biofuel compost manure and soybean so that is quite a bit of product so like I said I have most of that here not all of it but quite a bit of it so let's take a look at the device itself. So like I said, this is the Flegel PFS 16,000 pallet filling station. And what you do is you put product in here. Now, if you're going to put uh, like solid product in, you will have to use a front loader to scoop it in. That's probably the only thing I don't like. I'm pretty sure like when I reviewed this the first time, you could dump it on the ground, but maybe I'm mistaken. But uh, this is power by itself. You d can disconnect your tractor once you uh, pull it up to where you're going to activate it. And you actually get on this like you would in a vehicle. So there it is once I've uh, pressed the E button. Then you can change your view so you can see the control panel itself. So that's pretty cool. So how do you work this? The, here's how you operate the machine itself, guys. You get a disconnect from the Flegel station. You disconnect your tractor from there, of course. Then you're going to start up the main engine. And how you're going to do that is, as soon as I get that, you're going to press the enter key. You can see up in the top left hand corner, I just started it up. Now if I press the B key, I'll start it up. I'll start the conveyor and everything. The process, you can see it's spinning there on the bottom. And then once it's enabled, you can fill this up with product and it'll automatically make pallets and push them out if you push the H key. See up where it says H, it says enable automatic pallet pusher. Now you can set it to automatic, but once it runs low and it can't finish a pallet, the last pallet you'll have to push out manually. And what you'll do is just hit the H key to turn it off and then toggle it by yourself. See, if I disable it right there, I can press the X key and push it out manually. So like I said, that's just for the last pallet because it won't push out by itself because it's not full if you catch my drift. So that is pretty much it for that. You can uh, enable the pallet creation with the I key, which we'll do right now. And you can see it's spinning there. You can see the middle thing start spinning. And we're going to try a couple things right now. So let me disconnect from that. I do believe this is all up and running. So let me take you over to the shop before we get started here and I will show you where it's at. Now I almost forget where it is myself. Is it under miscellaneous? Yes it is. It's in the in the miscellaneous section and it's right there. Pallet filling system. Costs fifty four thousand with a ninety dollar a day maintenance fee. It works at five kilometers an hour. I don't know if that's the speed that, that the conveyor goes. It holds 16,000 liters, and there's all the different products that I've mentioned already. So there's quite a few more products than uh, the first version when I reviewed this. So there it is in the shop, guys. Now let me get this started. And we'll start with the wood chips here since they're a little closer. I get a big old scoop on this. I probably won't need the whole thing, but 
Yeah, I didn't like dumping all this product on the ground, but... That's the way it works. Wow, that's not even enough to fill it. Oh well, that's fine. That's enough to uh, test it out. So you just bring that on over and dump it right in the little conveyor there in the front. Yeah, this is a great little mod. I reviewed this before, but they've upgraded it, and I've noticed they added a lot more products, so it's definitely worth a second look. And you'll notice there's a little digital readout on there. It'll move once I start filling it up. I hope I'm not missing this. No. Okay. So I did get that in there. It's going to start producing the bales now. Now they'll start building on a pallet. Well, no. It's making bales, actually. But it will make pallets out of different products, and it'll make um, bags out of your smaller bags of seed and fertilizer and stuff like that. So let's run this off first. I will go over and grab my flatbed with autoload. And I'll bring this over just so we can scoop up the pallets a little quicker so we don't have to uh, be waiting around. Because I'd like to uh, review all of those products, guys, and make sure that it's working properly for you. I'd like to do a thorough review. Okay, let me bring this up, and we have to switch the work position on, and we have to switch the pallet, or uh, bales, sorry, with the Z key. Square bales, there we go. So I don't want to get too ahead of myself here. Um, how come I'm not picking them up? Hmm. Square bales work position X. Oh, okay. I was pressing the wrong button. That's why. Here we go. That would do it. Okay, is that out or... I don't want to get the uh, thing too close to it in case it messes it up. Okay, that's empty already. So you can see we got a few bales there. Very cool. Let's back him up and we'll put some more product in there. Okay, so let's try some manure now, guys. I did have a little bit of problems. You're going to have to watch this, guys. If you're going to use a uh, auto loader trailer to pick up your pallets, make sure you push them away from this machine because I think I sucked it up too early and it, uh, yeah, it made the game crash. So just be careful of that. What I'm going to do is use a forklift to push the pallets out of the way and then I will use that. So hopefully that'll clear that up. But. That just took a little longer to uh, fix because I didn't save anything, <laughs> of course. But uh, let's try some manure here. We'll get through this, guys. I just like to be thorough in my uh, game reviews. I know you guys appreciate that. Alright, let's try some manure. Shouldn't have any problems there. I can see it processing already. So yeah, just if you're going to use the auto load trailer like I do, just make sure you push the pallets away from this machine. So it takes a little getting used to because you have to press the H button to enable the auto piston to push those pallets out. But when the last pallet's being made, if you run out of material and they can't finish it, you have to turn the auto piston off, push it out yourself, and then activate it again for the next load of product that you're going to put in there. But you'll get used to it, like I said. So that's working just great. Let's take a little look at this. Bring up the old menu there. Yeah, it doesn't say increments. The only way you can tell is because of that little scale that's on the front of it there. But everything seems to be working just great here. So every time that beep happens, it's going to push a pallet out. I like that because before you had to stand right by it and we could, and it wouldn't make the next pallet until you push that one out of the way so this is going to help big time. So push that out of the way. Ready for this next one. I'll even speed time along. It's so hard to tell how much is going to make how much, you know what I mean? You don't know the increments. But, uh, I seem to put a lot of manure in there. But like I said, you can hook that up to a tractor, but it's self-powered. And it has lights and beacons on it as well. 
So, uh, pretty cool little device, man. I have to say, very creative when they made this. I'm gonna fast forward time a little more. I don't think it matters. You know what? I, it doesn't matter. Look at look at it. It's on times one right now. Watch. It's on times twenty now. It do, it doesn't matter. It's gonna process at the same speed no matter what. So. Okay. It's so neat how that works. So this is wrapped up poop. Interesting. It's hard to believe we're going to be pouring milk into the same machine. <laughs> it's kind of nasty when you think about it, but we'll just pretend that it's uh, all bleached out. Yeah, I didn't know there was so much in there. We don't have to try all the products. We'll try, you know, a good deal of them. I just want to see what the different packaging looks like, right? So good. Let's try to put less in next time. You can actually see the manure moving along there too. That's cool. I just want to know if I'm going to have to activate the piston or not. Probably. I can't see this running out just in time. You know what I mean? If that being exactly enough. Oh, look at that going to be an awful small pallet the next one if it even works like that okay let's see what happens here I don't even know it might just even cancel that out or something is that actually going to make a partial pallet it is too okay like I said you have to press the H button to dis, uh, disable the automatic then you press the X button to push the pallet out just wait till it stops beeping you'll know the pallet's all the way out and then push it again to get it to retract once it stops speaking press the H button again and you're ready to rock okay so I am going to push these out of the way just to be on the safe side wow I made four pallets of that stuff pretty cool Oops. Okay, close enough. Alright, let's try another product, guys. Let's try some. What is this? Is that manure? No, we just did manure. That has to be silage. That's silage over there. Well, what we found out. I don't think, yeah, you know what, that's manure, I'm not picking that up again, that's just the same thing. Okay, what do we got here, some sugar beets it looks like, let's try that out. See, I don't want to take so much, because I don't want that uh, to take too long. Whoa, 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 we need some, though. This is just a big scoop, holds quite a bit. Okay, let's dump that in. There we go. Pull that back. What do we got here? Oh, nice. Got nice little wooden crates full of sugar beets. So that's one of the products I didn't have was the sweet potatoes, but that's oh, quite all right. Or the, not the sweet potatoes, the regular potatoes. But you know they're going to be in bags or in boxes like this on pallets. So, very cool. Really, really like that. So while that's running off, I can get another product ready. And what I will try next is... Let's try the soybean. a lot. It's so hard to judge what you're putting down. There we go. I just want about a half a scoop. There we go. Okay, jump out. See where this is at. It's almost empty now. Jump in our trusty forklift. Just makes it so much more convenient to do it this way. You don't have to worry about using tippers and stuff. Very cool. Just a different method of 
going about selling your product. I'm not sure if you get more for this. But there's one more thing I gotta show you before I go, or before I wrap up the review, is the sales trigger for this. Okay guys, I'm just gonna move this last pallet and we'll go check out the selling point. I'll show you how you uh, set that up. Okay, let me just push them out of the way. This is all empty, but actually while I'm doing that, I'm gonna fill this back up so we can work on the soybean while we're gone. And I will set up a sales trigger. Now they can all be sold at the same place. It's just a so oh. Now I dumped some on the ground. It seemed to suck that up. I wonder if it worked like that. I don't know. It doesn't say anything. It says that you use a front loader, and in the in one of the videos it showed that as well. So let's go over here and set up a sales trigger. Now the sales trigger will be under placeables. Of course, of course. Okay, let's go back here for a second. Yes. All the way up. It's in here. Don't mind, guys. I got lots of different mods in here. Here it is here. Pallet selling point. $500 to set that up. We'll put one right on over here, and we'll try that out. So, like I said, you can put that anywhere on the map that you want. So, we will... Well, that's processing. We'll jump in our trusty cat here, pick up a few pallets and sell them and see what we get for this stuff. It's an idea. Uh, work position X. These are all on pallets. Oh no. No, they were bales. These are pallets. Oh well. They'll sell all the same. They should. Okay. Let's see what we got here, guys. No, they may not move because they're kind of locked down. Hold on a second. Let me take work position off here. They might stop selling. Unload Y. Hold on. We'll pick a side here and we'll, we'll, we'll just drop them on the ramp. Maybe it works like the other one. Okay, hold on. Let's try that out right there. Drop it. Did I see some sales? Yes, I did. They're probably just selling a little at a time. Yeah, that's exactly what's happening. Sorry about the mess there, guys. I do apologize. It should all still sell, though. So I'm not going to know what you get for each individual product, but I just want to make sure that they can be sold. Indeed, they can. Okay. So work position. Let's turn that off for a minute. Let's go over here and... Finish this up now. Is this thing empty? Yes, it is. Is there a pallet in there? Yes, there is. Okay, let's push that out. Push the H key, push the X key to push it out. X key to retract. H is started back up, and we're out of here. Okay, I am actually going to be brave and try to pick these up. Hopefully that didn't mess anything up. So there you have it, guys. That was the Fliegel PFS 16,000 Pallet Filling Station plus Pallet Sales Station. Version 1.0.0.7. File size is 40 megabytes. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's review. Additional information and links can be found down below in the description. If you guys enjoyed today's review, maybe you can leave a like on your way out. And guys, if you're new to the channel, why don't you go ahead and click on Nick right there in the middle of your screen and I'll bring in new mod reviews every second day and Let's Plays every other day. Plus my Patreon is just below that if you would like to help and donate to a smaller channel it's always appreciated. So until next time take care and I will see you all in the next one.